What's going on guys, Roadmaster, and today we're doing a top speed build on the 1979 Opel Cadet CGTE. This car is a uh, one of the last cars I'm doing from the Red Polo DLC. And uh, yeah, it looks like a cool little car, so let's go see what it can do on the track. Alright guys, we're right back, and let's see how this little Opel sounds. Not too bad. Yeah, it, it, it kind of sounds like a Honda. I mean, that is just me. I don't know what I've I've never really heard of Opal before. All right, I've seen the logo before on the front of the car. But I've never like actually explored their cars or anything. So uh, I'm gonna have to relate it to Honda. Random question, but uh, I'm probably gonna get bashed so much for that. But uh, yeah. Can hit. Uh, let's see. It's an older car, probably 120, 130 around that range. So let's go in three, two, one, go. Minimum wheel spin in first gear, and we are at 60 miles an hour. Let's go. Come on, 80. Come on, 90. Come on, hit 100. There it is, 100. 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. Come on, 110. Let's get 120. I'm kind of maxing out the RPMs here. Come on, 115. There it is. Oh, I can't shift. I went 16. Come on, get 117. Get 117. Come on, you can do it. I guess not. So, uh, yeah. All right, 116. Yeah, we didn't hit 117. 116 is not too bad at all. So I was hoping for 120, but hey, it's an older car. So uh, yeah, look at this poorly modeled truck. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys when we get back. To I keep saying yeah a lot. God, I gotta stop. But I'll meet you guys when we get back to the garage. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, unlike the uh, Nismo GTR race car we had yesterday, this has a lot more upgrades. So let's see if we can get up to A class. Okay. So let's see conversions. Engine swap, definitely doing that. Uh, we can put a 1.6 liter inline four turbo rally. Uh, let's see. So far, this makes the most power. 5.7 liter V8. Or a 3.7 liter V6. Um, this one makes the most power, so we're gonna put it in. Turbo Rally. And we're gonna keep it rear-wheel drive. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, let's start upgrading. And, um, oh, we can only take off restrictors. Hmm, alright. Almost 500 horsepower, that's alright. Thought we we're gonna be able to do more than that. All right, come on. There we go. Any moment now. I hate how these things take so long to uh to uh buy it. Like in Forza, uh, yeah, Forza in uh Forza Five, it was so much faster. That's the one thing I miss about Forza Five. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fully upgrade this guy's tune will be available to look up Shader Mean Seven, and um. You'll be able to download this exact tune. So uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna finish upgrading this, and I will see you guys when I get back to Le Mans. Alright, guys, we are back, 
Now let's hear how this turbo rally motor sounds. I think that's, that's how the car should have sound stuck. Cause it sounds really good now. And uh, when you get to the top end, you can kind of hear the turbos. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I think this thing can hit uh, around 185. Based on what my tuning said, it's going to hit 188. So, uh, let's see. So, let's go in. Three, two, one. Go. Spinning through first gear. Oh! Oh, that was not good. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. Steady on the throttle. There we go. All these light cars, this thing weighs. 1800 pounds that's insanely light all right we're at 160 come on 166 167 168 169 170 come on I know you can do it yeah um, don't worry about that 173 Come on 175 176 177 178 Come on 179 hit 180 Come on We have we only lost two miles per hour Come on Breaking point is now. All right, two seventy or two seventy, one seventy nine. I'm going to fast car if it was two seventy, but uh, yeah. So it's a quick little car. I probably build it for a uh, circuit build. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, er, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Comment you guys want to see next. Don't forget to don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you on the track.